Alright, hey there Proxies, this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Pearl Wedlock, and, uh, I guess you guys could tell from the music and the sound quality now is that everything seems a lot better all of a sudden, like, jeez. For, like, the past few, like, eight episodes already, we have been, like, um, having some issues with the, with the Desume problem with my Elgato and everything, but, uh, just recently I just turned on my Desume to see what was going on, and, lo and behold, it works! Okay. <laughs> Like, I guess we got ourselves, our, our audio and everything back up and running now, which that is just absolutely amazing. I am super happy that all this is uh, going as well as according out the plan. But if you guys didn't miss out on the last episode, we went and we taken care of the Eterna City Gym, got ourselves our badge, and also went over to the Team Galactic base and uh, basically went and taken care of Jupiter. And now, guys, we're going to be getting our way over to the Heart Home City which, uh, that is one of my favorite areas here, um, but unfortunately, uh, we cannot really go and take care of Fantina right away, because it's not Pokemon Platinum, so we actually have to go and head all the way down to Bealstone City to basically go and take care of, uh, Maylene, so that is gonna be, uh, pretty awesome, can't wait till we do that, or, uh, later on in the, uh, in the next few episodes or so, so that'll be pretty awesome, but I know that we can't really go and cross on over there just yet, because we actually have a whole lot of other, uh, things before heading on into Vealstone City, but oh my goodness, dude, I can't believe that the audio and the gameplay and everything is all back together and it's just working out so well. Uh, I've been fiddling around with this whole Desumate thing for like over like a few weeks now, and uh, thanks to other people as well too, uh, uh, uh for uh, pointing out some other facts for me to help me out, um, with, uh, with everything that has been going on so far, but it looks like everything is working as perfectly as it can be, and I'm really stunned about what was going on here um actually let's not worry about heading down over there just yet i'm not going to head down to heart home just yet because we actually did uh actually need, need to uh go on over to uh to the actual uh other side of mount cornet because that's where dawn is going to be so i do need to go and pick up the versus seekers from her and uh I guess there is a comment question of the day that i would actually like to talk about the versus seeker and uh Oh yeah, this is the guy that gives us the EXP share, doesn't it? Our Professor Rowan's assistant, Don Sparrow, I come a long way to help you out, Professor Spetes. Let me ask you, do you have any Pokemon that you met? Oh my, you caught 99 Pokemon. Holy crap. 99 Pokemon. Alright, thank you, man. I'll take the EXP share from you. And, uh, who are we gonna get that to, though? Well, even though that we can't use Myers right now at the moment, I will actually give that over to, uh, to Myers and switch out the Quick Claw. And I think I'll add the Quick Claw on our dude, uh, probably Kirby. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe we actually have two Quick Claws already. That's insane. Oh, right. Yes, we do need to get ourselves a bike because we do actually need to go and talk to the, uh, to the cyclist guy. Oh my goodness. Everything is just running around in my head so fast that I can't even remember that I need to grab myself a bike out here. Uh, now, I believe you guys are going to be seeing this video happen out on, I believe, Friday. So, hope you guys are having, uh, excuse me, hope you guys are having yourself a good Friday. Uh, you guys are going to be seeing a cage lock happen throughout the week, so make sure uh, to stay tuned for that. Uh, Wednesdays are, of course, on Drag Crow's channel, and Thursdays are on my channel, so make sure, if you guys do want to follow up on the cage lock and everything else like that, make sure to, uh, go ahead and watch it, because it's going to be back-to-back -back cage locks, dude, or, or cage, back to back cage matches, I should say. Alright, now this is a little bit weird. Wait, so everything has been working fine out here. Oh, the Explorer Kit. Right. Um, who is, where's the Explorer Kit guy anyways? I think he's like right next to the house, is he? It's been way too long since I've done this. Yes, we do need the Classic Explorer's Kit, which actually I'm uh, pretty excited about. Uh, hopefully within the Gen 4 Remix they can add in a little bit more stuff. Uh, for the Explorer kit, because like I remember back in the good old days of playing po uh, Pokemon Gen 4, uh, just like uh, going underground with all my friends, digging up uh, different like types of like uh, stones and whatnot, or like different type of shards and everything. Like that was pretty cool. No, do not want to take on the challenge. I would like to just go hop on my bike and do some cyclist battles, and also head on over to Wayward Cave. Don't really want to feel like. Uh, heading to heart home just yet even though that i believe that is our goal for today so i don't know i may oh right yes that does remind me i do need to set up on the bike up here now i'm pretty certain i think you can't actually 
Let me just register this. Oh, there's not a time to a place to use it, so we actually have to use it outside. There we go. Alrighty. Let's see, can I dodge up most of these trainers? Because I would like to take most of these guys uh, off recording. Because we have a lot of battles that I could do off recording to grind up all my Pokemon up here for. Now, I believe most of these trainers who are vanilla will actually have, like, Staravias and stuff. Ponyta, interesting. Well, this battle shouldn't be all that too hard anyways. Let's go and grind up on Nitro. Get him up to level 22. Oh man, here we go. Not too shabby out there, dude. And that is a level up there for Nitro, so sweet. I will surely take that. Cyclist Dreams is destroyed. Now we just need to find Jesse, and then we have like an actual uh, team cyclist. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's actually switch around with Kirby. What? Well, can I just dodge around these guys? Yes, I can. And if we go and talk to this girl, she actually gives us a, uh, a flag for our bike. Nice. I wish uh, other games for Pokemon actually did that before. Ah, uh, yes. Can't not forget about also the uh, the items over here as well, too. The raspberries. I am the berry collector out here, dude, because I do not like buying out normal uh, items over at the item shop. Berries are the... Or the right way to go because they're for free and you can pick them up at any time at your disposal all right let's go and cut down this tree so we, we do have cut which i would like to put on yoko um so let's go and use it so yeah so unfortunately i can't really go and use myers right now uh during this episode because i don't have uh no, I, oh, damn it! I wanted to go add the cut onto Yoko up here. Yes. Okay. And yeah, remove the fence girl. So I guess when we actually do head home, uh, head on over to like Hard Home or whatnot, I will actually bring back uh, our for it, and uh, the Myers can be able to be actually be accessible to uh, do some battles and whatnot. But for right now, we're just going to just stick with the uh, with the main four Pokemon on our team. Um, okay, so who would I like to switch out? Let's actually go into Parry. And we'll just switch around here like so. I remember coming down here when, when I was... Uh, when, when I was little, and uh, back in the day, I used to used to grab my dad's camcorder, and I used to like uh, record out uh, uh, some videos, and uh, felt like I was doing like actual like YouTube videos like back in the day. And uh, I remember coming down uh, this way to like Wayward Cave and actually like doing like the little like post game thing and whatnot, and like recording out all that stuff, which that was such a classic memory, because that was basically how I was trying to get my start like doing actual YouTube videos, and that was like back around like 2006 or seven. Didn't really have like an actual YouTube channel at, during that time though, but but that would have been awesome if if my parents uh, did allow me to actually uh, record out, out some videos. But my parents were like uh, were really worried about uh, me doing YouTube videos like like uh, like back in the day, and I believe this is actually a new route. Um, Isn't this a new route? Because, like, we're underneath the cyclist path, and I believe this is, and, uh... I'm trying to think, what was our last Pokemon that we ran on into before? I'd like to say we ran to a Rapidash in the last episode. Uh, and we didn't really get ourselves a Mount Cornet encounter, so... I believe we do need a female Pokemon for this right now, so if I could find a female Crocodile, that would be pretty nice. I'm just trying to think. No. No, we didn't really run into any other female Pokemon, I don't think. So we actually... So yeah, we got ourselves a Rapidash. So I'll just leave it at that. So we got ourselves a Yellow Flute. So yeah, I believe the Rapidash was like the only one Pokemon that we actually got from here, so... Pretty nice. 
Alright, come on. Is it gonna be a female or is it just gonna still be a male? Okay, still a male. Alright, that's good enough. Just wanna go and make my way into Wayward Cave and uh, see what I can grab. So we still got a whole bunch of male Pokemon, so we're still gonna still be on a hunt for a female. Alright, so welcome to Wayward Cave. We're just going to go ahead in here and we're going to see if I can find a female. Alright, need a female. Need a female. Come on. Oh, I can get another male. Come on, dude. What is this? I think for me, for, like, like, I don't know um, how, how the gender thing works, but it seems like more male Pokemon are, are more... Uh, are more distinguished in this game other than the female Pokemon, which that just seems a little bit weird. Because just trying to female, trying to find a female Pokemon is like really hard in this game. No wonder why, because of Combi. That's the whole reason why. It's like you try to find a a female Combi, and it's going to be literally impossible. Hmm. All right, come on. Uh, oh, come on, dude, really? Well, hold on. If it's a female Burmy, is that becoming a Wormadam or a Mothum? It wouldn't be that bad, though. I'll just catch her right out for the heck of it. It's just a Burmy. Really? You are a Burmy, dude. Come on, Burmy. Just get in the ball for good old Frostbite. You are just a Burmy. You're nothing else. And there you go. Alright, awesome. Burmy is caught. Our female Pokemon has been captured. Now, I believe we haven't even ran into a Mount Cornet uh, encou uh, encounter yet. So, so that's also another Pokemon that we can also run on into. Um, okay, so a female Burmy. I don't know what to name you. I don't know, the only one that I can only come up with is, uh, Fiona. Fiona! Alright. So there's our female Pokemon captured out for here, for the Wayward Cave. I thought we were going to be getting ourselves a female encounter over here, but now we can actually get ourselves a male Pokemon now this time around. So let's see what that's going to be. Alright, our male Pokemon for this section. Is going to be a oh my god! It's going to be a totodile. Oh my god, guys! I think we have found our actual Pokemon out here to actually uh, be really helpful. I can switch out Perry for totodile if I can capture that. That's the question. Oh come on, totodile! Don't be mean to me, dude. You're like my favorite starter out here. Um, I like to set up a quick attack, but I don't know how much damage that's going to do. Oh, don't knock it out. Don't knock it out. Don't knock it out. Okay. Oh, no. Not setting up rages. Great. The one move that I'm actually terrified about. Alright. Come on, Chodala. Just do it for me, man. Do it for me. Yes. Yes. Oh no. Why? Oh god, I may probably have to run away from this Pokemon, dude. Rages are really bad right now. I'll let him do one more rage on me, but then I don't know, I may probably have to switch out to parry. Oh man, come on, dude. Okay, his raises are done. Uh, what would be better? Fury attack's not gonna do. Fury attack. If I try to go for another quick attack, it's gonna probably be a critical. 
I'll just keep on throwing Pokeballs until I actually capture out this Toad Dog, because this Pokemon is amazing, dude. Ah, oh, still shakes out at two, man. Come on. Okay, I think I need to switch out here because it's just gonna keep on leering me, and Eva is not good with defense, so. I need to switch on out of there. Really, Toadog, you're just gonna be giving me this much as a problem. Okay, there we go. Got the rush skin. Yes. All right. Good job, Harry. We're gonna use the rush skin to our advantage and hopefully try to lower it down to red. Come on. One, two, three, and there we go. Nice. I think we got ourselves a new member. Oh wow, we could finally actually be able to get ourselves some actual water type moves on our team here soon. Well, of course, I'm going to name it after um, after my uh, Froligator, and I named it, I think, what was it, Rapture? I think I named it. I think I named it Rapture. Because that's how I name, uh... Oh. Because I think when we had, I think it was our Spirit Gold Wedlock, I believe we actually did get ourselves a, uh, a Totodile, and I named it Rapture. Sweet. So I'll take care of these guys. Also off recording as well too. I'm not going to be all that too worried about it. Oh, Gorbis. Well, you know what? I don't really mind because Froligator is a pretty nice good Pokemon out here. So we'll take it and leave it. Oh, come on, man. Get out of here. Oh, an Elekid. Interesting. Now, hopefully, I'm not gonna try to make this video too, too long for everyone. But I just want to go and head all the way uh, back on over to where Dawn is, and I'm gonna get attacked by every single freaking Pokemon known to man out here. Come on. I wish there was like an item or something where it's like a permanent item where you could literally have like a f like 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 some sort of like repel type like necklace or something so that like you could just wear it and not get in uh, not get attacked by Pokemon every time. That is what Pokemon should make or or, or what uh, Game Freak should make. Make a necklace where you don't get bombarded with Pokemon all the time. Because we got shiny chars, we got. A whole bunch of other random charms. There should just be like a, a repel charm or something. All right, let's find where Dawn is. Hey, normally Dawn would actually be talking to us over at the actual uh, cave side over here. Oh, uh, let's go for the left. I right, see you. What the Rizzo Seeker? Press. Presso. Yes. We can now actually go and rebattle out trainers, which, for me personally, I, uh, yeah, and, and um, I think I'm still trying to continue onward with the question of the day, is that, uh, do you guys like the Versus Seeker uh, throughout the Pokemon games? For me, I, 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 I like the Versus Seeker, and I believe it actually disappeared, I think, around Generation 5, and there was no more other uh, Versus Seeker that was around. But we did get a thing called the Versus Recorder, and that was actually... Somewhat okay if you want to like record your ballads with, but it was nothing like compared to the Versus Seeker. So we need to go and head back to. So let's try and dodge around most of these trainers again. We need to head back to the other. Whoa. Is it this way or is it the bottom one? I can't remember. I I I'm pretty certain it's the top one. Yes. Yeah, so oh, I thought I already bowed you. Oops. Okay, never mind. Ah, oh, here we go. We got the pesky annoying Star Arabia out of here. Whoa. Uh, we do have the right move for the job out here because we do have Perry with the Ice Fang, so that's gonna be helpful out here with this fight. I don't know. I should probably leave Perry in. 
and just keep Totodile on, on our team. But I kind of like having Myers because Myers is our like our, our our psychic boy out here. Because at some point we're gonna like probably teach a psychic soon, and I would like to have uh, that on good old Myers. I just watched uh, two good movies uh, recently. Uh, I just watched uh, both Tenet and I also watched uh, the New Mutants as well, which that's basically uh, a movie that was actually supposed to come out like a few years ago and it got delayed so much. And it's somewhat okay. It's not like the the greatest of all time of, of Marvel movies, but it's it, it's nice. All right, and here we are outside where Eternal City is. Now, I think we should have enough time just to get through the cave section of this place. I don't know if this is the one where we actually need the strength section over here for this, or that could probably be uh, down below, but I'm thinking that's probably down below, right? Hopefully it's not this one. I would like to see what the uh, Mount Cornet encounter is going to be, though. Oh, a Venusaur. That would have been pretty epic. But uh, if you guys did check out the uh, the cage lock that happened like a few uh, a few episodes back, we already just went and bowed out of Venusaur, actually. Ooh, just going to dodge around this guy here. I'm pretty sure this is the way where the... Uh, I do see some rock smashes here, but I think this is the area where, where the... Uh, where the straight boulder is. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. I know that I need to find a female Pokemon in here, but I know that Glee will never be, a, <laughs> never be a female. It has to be a male. All oh, right. I think this is the the straight um, section, so we actually do need to head down to the bottom. Yep. Damn it. Okay. That's the one that I always get confused with, like, all the time, is because, like, you don't know which route that you need to go and take for Mount Cornette, because, like, there's two different pathways to go to. And I don't know, and I know that that way is, like, basically the way to, uh, Celestic Town, because when you start seeing straight boulders and stuff, you know that that's where Celestic Town's gonna be. Well, onwards we go back down. I think we're still on some good time still. I think like we're around like maybe like 20 some odd minutes right now. I'm gonna try and dodge out as both trainers as I can. Whoop. Ah, nice try, dude. Whoop. Alright, he's not gonna be getting me this time. Whoop, nobody is. I just wanna go and just make our way out to the outer part of Mount Cornet. Still need a female Pokemon though. Oh god. Alright, well you know what? Actually, I'm gonna save this part right here, right now. I'm not gonna really worry about uh, taking on these trainers right away. I think what I'm gonna do is just add on this episode here for today just so that we don't have to make this video go on for too long. Uh, so, uh, so right now we're not gonna be heading on over to Heart Home uh, for this episode for today, but we should be able to make our way over to Heart Home in the next episode, and we can be able to go and do some of the things over there. And uh, yeah, so let me know what the comment question of the day is. Is that, uh, do you guys like using the first Seeker uh, throughout the Pokemon games? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys then, and peace.